Hey everybody, it's Brian. Welcome to the 39th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Today we're going to be covering the Q linked list. So I'll go ahead and create just a simple console program. We'll call this linked. Put it in the usual location. Alright, and let's just add a few includes here. And in case you're wondering about my sloppy typing, yes, I'm still not wearing my glasses. So, um, just bear with me here. The ironic thing is, though, um, my video game scores have actually gone up since I quit wearing my glasses. I can't figure that one out. I can barely see the screen, yet my score has gone up. Alright, so what is a Q-linked list and why do we need it? Well, Q-linked list is like the Q-list which you've been working with, but it's linked. What does that mean? Well, what it means is instead of um, allocating all the memory together in one contagious chunk, the items can be spread out in memory. And to do th that as a visual representation, I'll just kind of show you Wikipedia's linked list description. And this is uh, this is not language specific. This is not platform specific. This is a general computer term, a linked list, if you will. Each item contains a pointer to the next. Or I should say, you know, it's got a list inside of it that links to the next item. Uh, what that means is that these don't have to be all in the same chunk of memory. They could be spread out all over the place. This could be ad address 1, this could be address 20, this could be address 3, and it jumps around. So what's really the difference between a list and a linked list? Well, a list is very fast reading the list. So if you just want to iterate through the list, it's very fast at doing that because it's all in one contagious chunk. Um, now, vendor-specific might be a little different depending on which vendor you're using, but it's all in one contagious chunk, so it's very fast. Now, when you go to insert something, say in the middle of that list, it's very slow because it has to find a chunk of memory big enough for the new list size, create a whole new list, and do all this other stuff. That may or may not be cute, true with Qt under the hood. I'm not quite sure how they handle it, but that's in general a list. A linked list, on the other hand, it's very fast to insert or delete things because it just changes these pointers. But to iterate over the list, it has to find the pointer, move to that point in memory, find the next one, move to that point in memory, and just keep going and going and going. So that's the main difference between the two. But the, the implementation is almost identical. So we'll say list. Actually, we can just say... Uh, Bear with me one moment. Sorry about that, my mouse cord was hung up on something. So we can just populate this list here. And we'll just say, let's add one, three, and five. We'll say for each int i in our list. And let's just say q debug. We're going to print some stuff out here. And we'll say i save and run this. So you see our, our implementation is identical but under the hood it's a drastically different animal here. Um, in case you've never seen this before we're just inputting the list. You can still use the same old tried and true method append. Well pretty short tutorial I just wanted you to really understand the differences between a list and a linked list and why you need the two. Um, really all you need to remember is when you see the word linked linked list. Just think of pointers. It's very fast insertions and deletions. This is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.